Jing and Steve Show. Step aside and let the big kids play. Wrong song in your ears. We kids. I could pick a subject that I'm going to basically piss off everybody that probably has bipolar. But, you know, what else am I going to do, right? Monday. It's Monday. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> We're in an eventful weekend. Was it? Yeah. What did we do? Oh, just a party. Yeah. What are you talking about? Sorry, I was like, wait a minute, was I there? What happened? <laughs> so Friday night, London's birthday, which yeah. was outside, which was a uh, basically looked like a rave for eight-year-olds. <laughs> Flashing lights, glow sticks everywhere. It looked really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely, it was cool. Uh, Saturday basically did nothing. A lot of kids came. Yeah, Just they did. Reference. Yeah. So aren't you glad you didn't email them all? Yes, I am. Okay. I am. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, that, that that wasn't cool. So. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Marcus is having a, a jolly spiffing day already. Fuck this day and the gay fucking horse it rode in on. So. Oh my. That doesn't sound good. I, 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 I know this is so different to how we normally do shows, but I, I thought today we'll talk about me. <laughs> Sorry, how is that different again? Uh, it's, that's not even like remotely different. So we're talking about you today. Yeah, we kind of, show. well, we started chatting about this over the weekend. And and we kind of was it yesterday? Yeah, oh, it was yesterday. Yeah. And you know, I was like, you know what? I, I'm like, I need to talk about this because there's a there's a few things that I'm gonna piss people off who have bipolar. Uh, they're not gonna like me very much. But in case you haven't worked out, I I, I don't really do this show to make friends. <laughs> I think everybody got that. Memo. Okay, yeah, all right. Just, I, I don't think okay. that was even okay. like. All right. So I was I, I was actually just trying to um, talking with you. I was actually just trying to quantify it because it's it's a really weird thing, and, and a lot of people I've come across a lot of misunderstandings about what bipolar is. They think it's something along the lines of schizophrenia, and it's not. And it's you know, don't get me wrong, batshit crazy. Bipolar people, batshit crazy. I am in that category. I am fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah, you right? are. Uh, you know, so let's let's not sugarcoat this. I, one of the big problems I have with <clears throat> bipolar is it's always described as a disorder, i.e. it's indicating that it is not normal. It isn't normal. You're not normal. No, but what okay. is not normal is relative, surely. Normal... In the crazy is... hospital, normal is what? Crazy. Uh, and the people who are sane are abnormal. See? Sorry to everybody on Periscope. I'm sick. Yeah. You've been sick for a couple of days now. Yeah. I didn't spike yeah. your drink Friday night. No. No, I'm not that kind of sick. I just, I don't feel like... She's much. pregnant. Fuck, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello in London. We have Jason Bedford in London. Oh, hello, Wembley. Oh, Dragon Eyes just came back from Maine and he came home sick. Yep, welcome to fucking Maine. Uh-huh. It tries to kill you. If they don't get yes, you with a does. cold, they'll get you with something else. Yes, like, they will. Know, fucking caterpillar. I saw... Brown tails crossing the road. Mm. Those are the caterpillars that should be dead by now. Still alive here, How crossing the road. How fucking possible? I know. I mean. <sighs> so anyway, yeah. So 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 I'm. You're. I would like to say I'm nuts. not going to piss everybody that has bipolar off, but but I am. I you all well, need I to. Well, I asked g- everybody else who's crazy in the room. Uh huh. So everybody's crazy. Not everybody's crazy. I'm not crazy. Well, it, you know, I have to deal with I hear you, a, so maybe, I hear a but... lot. Oh, you're just a saint. There's a difference. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, you're not. He's crazy too. Um, oh my god! You know this phone? <laughs> my fucking phone, which I just threw across the room, right? Doesn't work. I I don't use it for a day. And the battery dies on it. It's absolutely fucking useless. And now it starts randomly working. So it just got. 
I like Panama oh. Zach's uh, comment. He says, Steve's bipolar. Really? What's new? I know. <laughs> well, I kind of, I, I wanted to try and ex- uh, actually explain it because I think when I've heard people explain bipolar, they explain it from such a fucking victim's point of view. It's just, oh God, it's absolutely debilitating and I can't do this and I, yeah. I can't do that. I'm just like, oh, stop being a fucking victim. Right. I don't take medicine for this because no. I like it raw. He I should, he but I will should. not take medicine. <laughs> There's a reason for that, right? I, I'm, I'm British, and I'm old school British. <laughs> reason you're only one-on-one when there's a case of coke involved that's right that's it uh trevor says you are sexy though well thank you and then you put jk after it so you bastard i I hate you bipolarness coming i hope your cat dies (laughs) um it's gonna be ironic if he has a cat and it dies today be like god he's not only an asshole he's obviously supernatural that would be good um it's you so when I've heard it explained, it, you know, people do. They, they explain it from this, like, victim mentality point of view. And, and, and it's not. And, yes, my doctor does want me to do stuff. No, I'm not going to do it. And I won't do it right. for this reason. And that is actually one of the biggest culprits of mm-hmm. people with bipolar syndrome not actually getting the help they need. Yeah, I know. But and his... people like me being fucking tortured no, because no, 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 no. you won't do it. It's not because I don't think I need to. I know deep down I need to, but I don't <laughs> want to do it for this reason. I get that. TV, TV's Julian, he said, you know, he was like, you know, fuck pills. I, he mm-hmm. agrees with you, but he said just buy a big bag of greens. That's fine, but Steve doesn't eat healthy, and that's oh, not Oh, fuck gonna... off. Yes, I do. Okay, he doesn't... You don't eat, like, a bag of greens because... I think he means marijuana. Oh, Maybe. I think that's what he means. Maybe. That's what that's everybody's fucking anyway. solution to everything. I've never heard it called greens before. I, it's probably just another trendy name for it. Oh, is it? It's like, oh shit, I've cut like my hand stupid. off. No worries, man. Just yeah. smoke something. <laughs> It'll all feel better. No, it won't, right. you fucking retard. <laughs> What's my hand going to grow back? Am I going to rub pot over it and I'm going to grow a hand back? No. Okay, so he meant me. What, yeah, meant big weed. B said, okay. Yeah. <sighs> greens. Fine. <laughs> well, a lot of people actually do just go like do the whole like super healthy route. Um, yeah. And, it, it, you know, and, and, and go, like, supernatural. Right. Not supernatural. Like, you know, find mm-hmm. people psycho. But, you know, doing that whole thing and, and you know, taking a billion vitamins and you'll yeah. be good. So, uh, you know, okay. So, the reason I'm not is because what I have really learned <laughs> since... What? <laughs> Magnum came in the room and he's like, what, Steve's by? <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell me like you didn't know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I just made a lot of men's dreams come true right there. Uh, when um, when I first kind of, like, when it was first indicated that it was like, yeah, you're probably, like, batshit crazy, I was like, all right, well, you know, fair enough. I'll go down this road. I wanted to try and understand what actually happens because it's a really fucking weird thing to go through because you're not aware... You're absolute. See, for me, it's like all of a sudden something will start crowding in on me, and it's like a problem. And it's not really a problem, but it's a problem. Mm-hmm. And then that problem gets linked to a load of other problems that I'm linking. And I started when I first realized this. Mm-hmm. I said, "Oh, this is going to be easy to deal with because what I'm going to do when I'm doing that, I'm going to tell myself these aren't real. You're just making these scenarios up because it fits. The biggest problem is you then argue back with yourself to go, no, it's real and you're legitimate. You really are in this terrible situation. Yes, delusional is one of the symptoms. Right, yes. right. And that's that's actually really difficult because yes, I, I then you have to then turn around to yourself again. Mm-hmm. So now there's four of me <laughs> saying, no, you are actually currently slightly crazy. This isn't real. Do something else. Get Just do anything, but don't dwell on this. It's not mm-hmm. good. Then about a day later, my other self turns around and goes, see, it is a problem because it's got even worse. And so what <laughs> happens? It's like, it's like everything dogpiles. See, what I found interesting is that I think a lot of people, and I think myself included, you know, they thought like bipolar was like people that actually had different personalities. But that's actually multiple personality disorder where you can like switch to be like a different character right. almost. And that's not bipolar. And the hell do you mean, motherfucker? Oh, I ain't doing that. Somebody said, well, mm-hmm. but now we finally know what's wrong with Steve. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's one yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> it's a long list. But. 
so, Random thinks you might just be going through menopause. <laughs> I wish. Well, and this is the other this. thing. I kind of, you know, then looking back on my life mm -hmm. so far, um, I realized I've probably had this since my very early teens. Very mm -hmm. early teens. You know, uh, the type of you know the type of things that I s assumed everybody went through, and every and it was normal. Mm -hmm. You don't kind of realize that no, actually, that isn't what everybody goes through. You're kind of just going through something different. Mm -hmm. But and this is what pisses me off because at that point, then right, <laughs> uh -huh. go on. Uh, Robert says his nephew has it. We call him. Uh, we call it Uncle, Uncle Jeffrey Itis. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, the problem is then is victim mentality kicks in mm -hmm. and you're like oh I suffer from this and oh I can't possibly deal with people and this fuck it get like a radio that. show it's great therapy for bipolar <laughs> except for the listeners of course no you know it's like I don't know you don't have to adopt that mentality with it mm -hmm. you know there are a lot of people that want to have that victim mentality with all of their problems and oh I you know gain weight because of picos and oh poor me and you oh, know, we're not on about. Like don't that. get me going on fat people again. <laughs> well, no, I'm just, I'm just, you know, saying people can, you know, they can be the victim or they don't have to be the victim and just deal with it, take their meds, and they're gonna be happy. And it fucking sucks because there are there are time there. I mean, there are days, and and it doesn't like last for a day. It can last for like weeks. It can go into months. You can start to get out of it. Like, because, and it's so weird because all of a sudden you start realizing it's like, oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. this is just bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Giga said, but, you know, on meds, it can be miserable. Yes, but it's really miserable for everybody, including the person with it, when you're not. I Yeah, I know that. Yeah. I know that. But He's saying, you know, know he finds a really difficult time because, you know, it really, like, it really fucked him up and he kind of right. felt like, you know, ending his life and things like that. And, yeah, you know, if you don't have the right level of meds, and yeah, that's definitely a problem. You've got oh, to have yeah. a doctor that's ready to work with you, you to see, find the right and, levels. And that's really crucially important. And that's one of the things. You see, one of the big problems I have with just medication across the board, because I know yeah, when I did I'm, testosterone treatment, like mm -hmm. when I started years ago, mm -hmm. I, it freaked me out. Mm -hmm. The difference in a person I was. Yeah. Just a chemical, and it, and it it makes you very mortal because you think shit. I actually I'm not me. I never. None of us are ourselves. Right. We're all based on whatever our chemical balances right. are at the time. Right, but isn't it just like the coolest thing? See, I look at it at a different point of view because I'm just like, wow, isn't that like the coolest thing to go? All I have to do is up this, change this, you know, take whatever. cocaine. That's okay. my point. And 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 you're gonna be happy, and it's just gonna be great. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna feel like you. You know, for want of a better word, just because you're yeah, gonna be happy. The problem, it's gonna the be problem a is, way of yeah, the problem is when you spend, you know, and I, I would assume anybody that's gone on these meds, you know, it tends, it tends to kind of put you probably outside the box a little bit of like reality. You know, if you, mm -hmm. you know, if, and I, I, to me, you see, for me, that for me, my challenge is, I not only want to identify when it's happening, I want to be able to beat it. I actually want to be able you to can't go. Can't change that because you. The can't fact go... you say that is the reason I will not take medicine because you can I'm totally going to. It. Thank you. I'll take medicine then. Okay. Oh, I see what you did there. Oh, you little bitch. <laughs> but it's like you know, you know, people, you know. I got ginkgo going, oh, it could take years, you know, and nobody wants to be, like, you know, subjected to, like, three months of medication experiments. I know, but, you know, if you're going to feel better, then, yes, why would you not? If you're not feeling good, if you've got a headache, you're, you're going to know, oh, I'm going to go take Tylenol or, I've or I'm seen drink people. caffeine or something like that. Because you get rid of it. You know how to do it. And you yeah. are taking a drug right. of sorts to get rid of it. Right. Same fucking thing. No. Okay. Think of all the bipolar people you know. Do any of them look fucking happy? And how many of them are on medication? All of them. And they don't never look fucking happy. They never look happy at all. Right. Me, I look happy probably about 30% of the time. Mm, that's a push, but okay. When I'm, when I'm having a downer, it's like, you know, right. I don't know, maybe one in seven so days I'm okay. 20% look right. happy. Yeah. You see? But, my plan but that's because at the moment I'm battling it. Because I'm actually going, fuck this. No, this mm -hmm. is, you know, I need to grow the fuck up. I need to stop. Like going, oh my god, the whole world's falling down. And just go, fuck, it's not falling down. You're just being a tard, Stephen. Get up. Fucking get on with life. But you See? don't listen to yourself. I do. I just argue. I'm very good at arguing. Especially with myself. <sighs> So I give myself... Do you see that as maybe being another problem? <laughs> not for now. <laughs> for the purpose of the bipolar show, no. It's not a problem. Mag Magnum said maybe you could just try to show your bobs and then you'll be good for the day. 
I, I could do that. You could try that. You haven't tried that method. It was funny because when I realized, uh, you know, one yes. of the one of the big slides that happened for me is everything comes crashing. Basically, every little thing I need to do, be it from washing the car to doing something with a business, to all crowds in on me at the same time. And I realized that's the perfect time to make a to-do list. So actually, when I get that downer, I grab a pad and I start writing and I'll write a fucking, I'll just write sheets of to-do lists. Because then I've got it. Because when I get back up again, Mm -hmm. I can't remember half that shit because I'm like, woohoo, like that. Mm -hmm. So I can then look at it and go, oh, fuck, yeah, I've got to do that. And then I can prioritize it and I can move forward. And I've actually found that very useful. Somebody asked, uh, what does Ethan think of your bipolarness? Uh, He's not here, so he must be scared of it. (laughs) You know, I think think he just takes it like, you know, we all do just, you know. If he's in a mood, you walk away. <laughs> it's it's I, I, you difficult. Know, you kind of have to avoid him. It's the weirdest just part. The safest thing to do. The weirdest part is like when you do, you know, because everybody snaps and they, you know, they, it's like you know they'll say something snarky or you know, me. I know as much as that's <laughs> hard to understand. Um, we have it. When I do it, I second guess myself nearly every time. I'm go shit. Was that was that me or was that the other me? Mm-hmm. You know, and kind of that. So, um, yeah. Robert was like, buy an echo. Then you don't have to write to do list. You don't have to remember to do things because you can just tell it to. Oh, can one. you? It's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, really? It's you can give it yeah. to do list. Uh, I think so. Really? Yeah. We're yeah, just but, learning. We're just but learning. But it goes up in the cloud, and I'll probably add killing people to that list. So that's yeah, probably you not might good. Not do it. I'm sorry, I can't add that to the list, Steve. <laughs> what <laughs> call me dave oh no um uh, apparently marcus is having a shit day wow marcus he says he really wish he could go to the farm with his gun and shoot it a couple times but he has to go to get the kids from school uh go to work get the kids from school and go to soccer field tonight well, it just sounds like a different place to practice that's all i'm saying <laughs> run <laughs> that's right that's it you could do laughs right now no we're too tired <laughs> i don't think so so, uh, you, you know, so I, I, I don't know. I kind of... Meditate. It will help, I promise. No. I, see, it doesn't. Because okay, the problem you, you is... You do it properly, no, I'm the sure. problem, No, the problem is, is when you're kind of on that slide and you do, you try and do meditation, mm-hmm. you can't, I can't keep stuff out of my head. I, I, I cannot well, get stuff out of my head. I don't think you can head. meditate because it's, you're bipolar. Okay. And, and you're not going to be able to have that focus. Whereas Marcus is just having a shit day. Yeah. He could go walk away for a second... And go sit down for two minutes, breathe a certain way, and he'll feel a lot better. I promise. That's what I have to do when you're like... You you <laughs> think running laps is hard now? Wait till I blow your fucking legs off! Now run <laughs> faster, you little shit! <sighs> Something along those lines. There you go. Domestic Unicorn said try guided imagery with... Uh, it's a uh, meditation with thought, so you don't have to, like, totally shut up. No, I just think I'd prefer just to toughen the fuck up, actually. <laughs> uh, Megan thought maybe you just meditate when you're on the toilet. It's probably true. I don't. I read. Because it makes you sleep. I listen to audiobooks. I'm, I'm, it's my head bizarre, right? is running. He listens to music and audiobooks when he's going to the bathroom. Audiobooks. I don't tend to listen to music that much. So bizarre. I mean, he comes out with, like, his headphones in. Mm-hmm. Fucking right. weird. Magnum says he watches YouTube. God, you oh, I think it, yeah, I mean, I think everybody does that. I don't do that. Why not? It's the perfect place. No one's going to disturb you. <laughs> it's just weird. So, so yeah, um, I, I just, you know, so, I, I mean, it's like, at the moment, I, I would say probably, probably the last, like, week and a half, it's been kind of tough. Yeah. Um, And it's, it's weird because it's like, you just. See, for me, and, uh, you know, and again, this is, you know, it's like, because I don't get depression. It's like, I don't want to, like, stay in the house and hide. I'm exactly the opposite. I want to be out. I hate staying in the house. I always want to be out and doing Mm -hmm. stuff. Um, (laughs) Marcus said YouTube or you porn, Magnum. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Well, he just called it the best alone time in the bathroom. And Magnum goes, there's a difference. (laughs) Uh, What percentage of a problem is it for Jane and the family? You know, it's, it's... um, for me, I, I was explaining to him yesterday, you know, I go through stages of, oh, God, not this again, to... <laughs> such a shit to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't say it You're to you. You're not sorry, you still do it. I don't say it to you. Do. you beat me with a stick. I do not. Uh, do. Ex-hamster, uh, Marcus. Uh, that's what he meant by <laughs> YouTube. Um, 
But, you know, I go through the stages of, you know, oh, God, not this again. Maybe it will go away Mm -hmm. to, oh, my God, I fucking hate you so much to, okay, God, he's still in this days later. I better, like, try to help him. That's what I go through. So it's it's actually, for me, it's really difficult because I still have to stay really positive, mm-hmm. even though he's being like a shit or mm-hmm. he's being like... I'm not. An, oh, come on. You're no, making no, me out to be no, a total no, asshole. No, you, I'm really you not. You can be really snarky sometimes, but I have to remember yeah. it's not you. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I have, you know, so when you're being really snipey and mm-hmm. really, you, you, you'll be very insulting or mm-hmm. very you know, mm-hmm. uh, out there mm-hmm. with your comments. And I have to remember that's not you. So I have to remember not to take that personally, mm. even though I'm like, wow, huh, did mm-hmm. you really fucking just say that to me? Right. Cause at that point I usually just want to like fight. And you know, so it's Don't like, do that. Cause I'll laugh. <laughs> so for me, it's, it's like, you like added up. Yeah, one cool. of those things where I actually have to stay really positive, mm-hmm. ignore him completely. Right. And you know, I almost like snicker inside just, to deal with what he's dealing with, you know, because it's like, I'm just like, wow, he's like such a little bitch <laughs> with that kind of a comment. So you, know? sh- you mock me. Internally. Internally. I have to do it to keep happy. You know how you make me smile and laugh? Yeah. Yeah. When you're not like that, I have to do it myself. So <laughs> and we explained it to the kids as well. You explained yeah. it better to them than I did. I kind of launched in was like, look, kids, I'm batshit crazy. <laughs> and, like, and Hermione was yeah. like, yeah. I was like, no, 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 it's actually legit. <laughs> so so I just I just explained to them, like, you know, sometimes I might say something that doesn't sound very nice. I know, and, I know they you know, know and, and, you know, and I, you know, and I'll tell them, you know, oh, he's, you know, having one of those days, just, you know. Yeah. Don't let it bother you. And it, it, things. as a person, for me, it's... See, that's really fucking annoying because it's like, because, you know, it's like everybody, you know, then I'm like, oh, shit, you know, everybody's making a fucking excuse for me, you know, (laughs) but that does actually push me to try harder. Does it? Yeah. You seem to get really mad at that point. I do get mad initially. (laughs) It's like, you know, it's like, oh, dad's being a retard today. Just excuse him. He's a twat. You know, that's basically what you're saying. And so that's difficult because I'm like, not exactly saying I'm those like, words. I'm not. All of these things are legit. I really am this busy. <laughs> 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 you know, so I, you know, it, yeah, it, you know, it sucks having it. There's but, a difference you know. between crazy and just losing it with like your kids or right. uh, whatever. Um, yeah, I can do that later. I, you know, I, I just... And it's, you know, it's a weird thing. I wanted to talk about it today because I was like, ah, you know, it was like last week was kind of a struggle for me, um, but I still did the shows. And I was like, you know, if this week doesn't improve, it's going to get really tricky to do a show come mid towards yeah, the see, end I of the week. Yeah, I find that really difficult because it's like, you know, you're the one we kind of like makes us laugh and we mm-hmm. make fun of. Mm-hmm. And when you're not right. like that and you're irritated, mm-hmm. it doesn't work very well. Yeah, I know. I know I carry the show. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ginko, you know, he says, you know, when traveling, it's going to be tough. And yeah, I do think it is going to be very tough when we are traveling, when he gets like that. Mm. Especially when there, well, doing the, no, something. there's something in, something I've noticed. Mm-hmm. When I go out, if I'm in this and I go into a different environment, mm-hmm. I, I, my reactions and everything change a lot more. No? Absolutely not. Okay. No, when we right. went, like, you Why know, is it going to be harder when we travel then? Because you're not in a familiar area. You know, you're in a completely right. different area, which is also makes you irritated because it's not everything you want or what you need or like, you know. I don't like stuff. familiarity. No, but, you know. when I mean, we, I don't. I.e., when we went on the 4th of July trip right. to Massachusetts, right. you went through that. Like, you had a really bad week during that time. Right, it had nothing to do with where we were. No, but you. It was fucking hot and there was no air conditioning. <laughs> right, I know. So you find. And I can't sleep naked because it was like a kid's room fucking opposite us. So I couldn't sit, sleep there with my toggle hanging out. Right, but we had a door. Hey, kids. You like Subway? <laughs> so, you know, to me, I, I, you know, I think that might actually be very difficult for you when we do travel because you won't have the same things. It will be hot. It will be fucking humid. There might be a bug that, like, irritates the fuck out of you. You know, you're, you're going to let those little things maybe magnify that kind of... That mm. actually, you know, that stuff I've thought they about. Don't, they, those, those, yeah, it's, those things don't really come on top of me. I, I, it's more of me just going... Oh yeah, I have to do that. Oh yeah, I need to do that. But most of the stuff that right now, I'm not aware of what's going on is another symptom of this. <laughs> just saying. It's just you know, hey, I I would just you know I 
everything I read about like bipolar. <laughs> Everybody picked on the whole what? They don't come on top of Steve. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not until I say. <laughs> <laughs> I knew as I said it, I was like, oh, God. I was waiting for Magnum to say something. It was Magnum and was it? I think Fuck somebody it. else said it too. I didn't catch God on. God damn it. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I I would just, I don't know. I kind of, you know, I kind of wanted to explain it a bit more because, like, because, you know, if you don't know people who have it and if you do know people who have it who are fucking victims, you're getting such a bad view of what it actually is. You guys, like, pretty much hear me every day so it's like now you know hopefully when you you know you know i'm really given an excuse when we do shit shows <laughs> it's just like uh, um me you know why. um yeah and it is it's it's difficult because it's like you know it depends how low i go with it and you know and i know the argument is normally like oh well you know with bipolar you have you know extreme lows and extreme highs and it, it it's not that you're like normal you yeah uh-huh. or like really sucky you and i'm kind of more withdrawn than anything else but i'm not depressed it's the weirdest thing it was like you know it's like i love going out still i still want to be with people i actually don't like being on my own ever um Mm -hmm. you know and it's it's the you know i think the problem is i think once you start taking drugs and stuff like that for it you know it does it alters you as a person i said yesterday you can take coke or anything you'd like to have if it makes you feel better because it's just like uh. i know but you're kind of you 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 know you're living a lie then right but you'll be happy and so will everybody around you but i don't i don't want to be happy in a lie right and see these are like you know some of the like you know help things i've seen is like you know when when is you know when is enough enough <laughs> spousal guides to <laughs> committing your spouse. Am I really that bad? No, no. Okay. You can get that bad. Really? Yes. But you're a little bit more since you've been taking the ashwagandha, you're a little bit better on Well that that's the other never thing. Never going too bad. Let's put it that way. I don't know if other people who have it have this, but one of the one of the things that I've always had a really ultra violent, very vivid dreams. Yes. And I wake up extremely stressed. Exactly. What? Sorry, G. Bart said, you know, it's a chemical imbalance. If you had a heart problem, I know, I you know, would take drugs to fix it. It's the same fucking thing. And this is your fucking brain. If your brain doesn't work, the rest of you doesn't work. I know. You should take something. I, I just, I don't want to, I, I can beat this and myself. And I'm not somebody to I go, oh, to... people should be on meds. You know that. Right, I mean, I, I am like totally against people with medications. However, you actually have a problem. Just like you have heart medication because. I know, but I tried to beat that myself, but I couldn't in the end. My body was like, nah, I need it. So you're eventually going to give up and take something? No, because my body's not going to die as a result of this. <sighs> yes, yeah, so you're, you're ultraviolet in dreams. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's something that... You I think know, it's kind of because you walk, watch Narcos every night. No, even when I don't. I think that's really lending no, hand really. when you, know, when you really watch not. Better Call Saul. It's not. Think about it. For all the time we've been married, I've always <laughs> said... I've always had them since I was a kid. <laughs> so he's like, take it or your relationship might die or your wife might kill you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole fantasy about women and stabbing and stuff. So I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to fight that one too much. I, and I'm not going to give him his fantasy. So yeah, yeah he's going to have to fucking deal with it. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I, yeah, I'm, I'm I don't know. Uh, so anyway, yes. Yeah, so vivid, violent dreams. When I took the ashwagandha thing at, it basically mellows out your dreams and i actually don't wake up stressed because i used to wake up stressed every day like weird. like i was out it's of breath weird. my my i mean my chest was hurting i i and i was it was such an intense dream and mm. it was every night i had this and you know i started taking those and yeah that changed everything and and now if you can start your day without feeling shit it's amazing how much you can actually you know deal with you know Oh, what am I going on about dealing with the day? Fucking hell. We're fucking adults here. We should be dealing with days without a problem. I, my problem is I'm very, I'm very dismissive of, of people that can't cope with life. Yes, thank you, Big B. He said you can't beat a chemical imbalance, and that's absolutely 100% true. Yeah, but you know... And then there's Steve. And part of, it, part of all of this is like being delusional or being like you're... No, I'm British. Being delusional of the fact that you have it, being delusional of other I'm, scenarios. I'm not and, delusional that I have it. And I know and, I have it. 
and the whole superiority thing. On... I am fucking better than everyone else. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about better than like doctors and medicine. Oh, fuck yeah. They're all fucking idiots. <laughs> right. Oh, seriously. You go to a doctor. What's the first thing he says? Well, tell me what's wrong. You're the fucking doctor. Why don't you do it yeah, instead of me doing just your job? Look at you, you know. Yeah. Well, okay. he's obviously not. Well, I, fucking hell! If somebody comes to me oh and goes, goes, I'm not feeling very well, and I go, well, tell me what's wrong. I have a headache and I have the sweats. And well, you've probably got a virus. I mean, that's a doctor's job nowadays. I could be a doctor. <laughs> You're not no, feeling you very can't. well at the moment, are you? What are your symptoms? I'm achy. Uh, oh, it's virus. Uh, probably. Yeah. I tell you what. Just go away for five days, and maybe you'll forget yes. about it. Gingo says they call it a practice for a reason. Yeah. Right, but they can fucking help you. Which doctors cure the fuck out of you straight away? They go, oh, I know what it is, man. And they do tingle, tingle, tingle. And, and it's done. What, a witch doctor? Yeah, yeah, he does a tinkle on you. <laughs> Maybe I was in the wrong club. I think so. Huh. Oh, man. That'd be a great witch doctor. Now Marcus says he knows two people, at least two people that have it. Probably three then. <laughs> Say hi to him all. <laughs> That's um, it. It's all one person. I, you know, it, it's. I just. I can't. Panel's ex that he hates when, like, you know, nurses do all the paperwork mm-hmm. and ask what's wrong, and then the doctor's just like, oh, here, take this. <laughs> yeah. Or the doctor comes in and goes, by the way, have you been sucking cock? Because that's what main doctors do. They come in. If you've got a sore throat, it's like, oh, you've been on the cock again. No, actually, I haven't. Uh, well, you know, sometimes fucking showing just off. Like, he just knew he, that the the trainee doctor fucking was into me, and he was obviously trying to nail the that. The trainee doctor yeah. was into yeah. you. Oh, she was she, into, huh? Yeah, and then he was like, "Oh fuck, I'm not going to get any, I'm not going to get any laidness. So I, I better make out he's gay. <laughs> hey, you like sucking cock? That's what he did. He was just like, "I got, I got to get this." Because he's like, "What?" <laughs> I, I went to my doctor's. Delusional. I had, I, Delusional. I had a, I had a sore throat. I went to my doctor's. And he looked in my throat and he was like, have you been performing oral sex recently? And I looked at him and I was like, you what? And he goes, have you had a penis in your mouth? And I was like, not that I can recall. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's not true. Just not that he can recall. Okay, at least. Asshole. Oh, my God. <laughs> you should have just went, no, I haven't. I haven't been down to that club for a while now <laughs> just go no i haven't had one i always take two at a time fucking oh, amateur Grandma zach says he hates those questions so uncomfortable so maybe that's just a normal thing have you been sucking cock uh, yeah don't take that bullshit turn around and no, go no, no 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 but i was down on your wife's pussy last night <laughs> fucking hit it right back at them you might want if you swab in my mouth you might want to check her ass you know what i'm saying Or when he says that, just go, <laughs> Sebastian, is that you? Oh my god, I didn't realize. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kim was actually, that's very uncomfortable. And Savage J says that's totally not normal. <laughs> so. Okay. So, um, yeah. Doctors are fucking useless. They're all guess artists. They really so are. So basically, I'm better than a doctor. Yeah, because you're, you're, you're observational medicine. Right. I'm not so going to listen to you. Right, but you do because you Sometimes. take what I tell you to well, take. When, when it's yeah, I mean you know. Yeah, you take it sometimes. Right. I know when you tell me to do things, but not this. I'm not taking this. I don't want. I don't want to do this. I don't want to. For starters, I don't want to go to a doctor and he goes, "Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put you on lithium and we're going to make you drink a liter of it today and see how you feel." I'm like, you know, how I'm going to feel. I'm going to die. That's a good idea, Ginko. What? Well, he said I could just mix your medicine in your push pots. <laughs> Have he I had one? Had any. Yeah. He finished London's, but I that, did. Was, that was it the other day. Yeah, mm-hmm. there was like half of one left. No. What? He, Zach said is going to like a gynecologist uncomfortable. No. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think about it. the I've last ever... time you've been to one, honey? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody said going to the gym is uncomfortable for them. I, I so. honestly, I can't stand American doctors because the one time you can't stand any doctor. I, when I when I had those like tests like back all. in like Tennessee, and he ended up doing the prostate exam, and I complained. I actually said to him, I was like, "This is really fucking uncomfortable." And he go, and his actual words were, "How do you think I feel?" 
That was the doctor, the professional doctors. How do you think I feel? You're the one that's getting paid 200 grand a fucking year. If you want to stick fingers up ass or you don't want to, fucking do something else. Then there was that fucking bitch ass nurse that was just like, oh my god, I can't put can't put sticky <laughs> things on you because hair says, creeped look, around. No hands would also be equally uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'd be terrible if I was a girl. I'd actually stick a can of tuna up there and go to a gynecologist <laughs> just to fuck with him. What are you on about? What, there's something down there? Oh, my God, what is that? Oh, my God, get it out. Does it smell oh fishy? Does that smell fishy to you? Put your nose closer. <laughs> Steve at the gynecology. That'd be good. No. Hey, you take a good look at that, Mr. Doctor. But... Slowly lift my legs off the stirrups. Get them behind his head and then just pull yes, them in tight. Women are crazy. Um. Mm-hmm. So anyway, that that was you know I don't know. Today I just kind of we were just talking about it. I think it was yesterday, wasn't yesterday. it? We were talking about it yesterday, and I was just you know what I I need to just kind of just go. Hey, you know what? It's not a fucking victims thing at all it's just you know it's shit we all have shit to deal with if you don't have bipolar you know maybe you're just like a dickhead or maybe you just can't learn shit or maybe you know you have bad acne or maybe you just have you know flabby feet Uh, you know everybody has something but the difference being when it goes into this you know of like you know bipolar or, or you know sort of anything else people like to make it some kind of victim thing and it's just like oh i've got i've met these people you know, they're just like, oh, no, yeah, I suffer from it. There's fucking support groups for bipolar. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Oh, I need to go and talk. It's, Do you know what happens you know, when you when talk to another bipolar person about bipolar? You both fucking end up, like, basically enabling one another to go, oh, is isn't that, it terrible? Is that what happened isn't it terrible? when you went and did it? I didn't go to right, anything. Right, so how would you know? Because I've seen YouTube videos. <laughs> right. Oh, what is a support group for? You all talk about it. I think there's a support group for people that, like, you know, are, like, you know, a family member is bipolar or something like that. Because it's it's, it's really frustrating. Duct tape, Marcus. So. He wants a cure for saggy balls. balls. Duct tape. Non-surgical. There you go. <laughs> Zach says, I feel like Steve going through puberty while bipolar must have been terrible. Yeah. <laughs> my girl, should I cut it off? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh, my God. What did he say? <laughs> I had a fucking terrible time as a teenager. Really? Hmm. And you I think it was all due to this? Now I look back on it, yeah. Yeah, I just, I didn't, I didn't, like, respond to, you know, and that explains so much for how I behaved in my 20s as well. Because I didn't understand. I was just bouncing around and I just, you know, I was actually never mm-hmm. happy, but that was really because of the cow I was married to. Um, it, it was really funny because after, after my first marriage finished, the amount of people went, Steve, you look really happy now. And I know I shouldn't say that, but you genuinely look happy. I, and I had. That wasn't one or two people. That was a number of people. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Tape. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. I just thought that was a random statement. <laughs> no. Dude, why do you need Steph to help you? Can you not reach down and do that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You, you're more active than me. You should be able to do that. Oh, see, Steph says she's not doing that. Yeah. No, that's, that's what, that's what uh, you know, Gillette Fusion is for. <laughs> Soap it up down there. Sit in the shower. It's in there. I heard it works Fuck well there. No. <laughs> that's what you need to do. He says his balls are huge. Pff, whatever. <laughs> Call me the elephant man and not because of my facial features. <laughs> <coughs> so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, so I thought, oh, today, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna talk a little bit about mm-hmm. bipolar. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I thought she was coming to the house. Um, not really a joyous subject for a Monday. No. Not really. No. Mm-hmm. But you know, I thought, well, if you all know, then you'll, you'll know. You can lower your expectations for this. Show. Lower it further. Mm-hmm. That that's that's the <laughs> key with the show. Said, is that possible? Oh, I would give it a try. <laughs> give it a try. It's always possible. Uh, Laszlo said maybe masturbate more. Huh? Laszlo said to maybe masturbate more. No, it doesn't work. I tried it. <laughs> it no, it, that actually has the reverse effect. I, I, as weird as that sound, that actually has a reverse effect on that. So yeah, 
At least that's not too bad of a subject. It's, you know, it, it's one of those awkward ones because if you don't have it, you just think people are just fucking making it up. And the people that have it fall into two camps. They're either just like, fuck this, I'm in denial, like me. Uh, or the other ones are just like, oh my god, my life is so difficult. Oh. I don't think a lot of bipolar people actually are whiny about it. Because... No, but they're gen- no, but they use it. They use it as an excuse to be a cunt. They do. Okay. Some of the vodka girls had had bipolar. They weren't bipolar. They were. They the one was bipolar. They one was. They weren't bipolar. Oh well, you know. But that's the problem. <laughs> you see, and then you get the imitators coming along, right. going. I just want to be an asshole, and I'm going to claim to be bipolar. That's not what I'm doing, by the way. I'm claiming to be a woman. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, so I, I don't know. Just yeah, it, you know, it, it's yeah. It kind of I I know it, it. I'm trying really hard to get on top of it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm such a child. <laughs> You know, so that when I'm seeing myself doing stuff, I'm actually correcting myself immediately, like, or within a few minutes to try and just, And does that help? No, but it, it, uh, but it makes me feel like I've actually got a bit more control of it. Yeah, you know, uh, Savage says, I think it's hard for people to understand mental health in general. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, you know, so. It is. I don't, I don't, I don't relate to anybody unless I've been through something. Mm-hmm. Like if you tell me you're a cancer survivor, pff, all right, great, you're living, you do what all of the rest of us do, <laughs> good for you, right? But you know, if you say to me, oh, you know, I was, you know, I'm a fat bastard and I'm trying to lose weight, I can totally relate to that. I'm gonna go, yeah, it's fucking right. weird, right? So yeah, I'm an asshole when it comes to relating to people, so I can't complain to anybody that go, ah, oh, fucking bipolars, mm-hmm. they need to grow the fuck up. But you know. And there's like I, I'm kind of surprised of how many like but like I think famous it's for all mental health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just you see, and this is where I have a pro. You see, like in the old town we used to live in, Reading. You know, there's a whole thing with you know, um, they have a whole problem there with like transient people and stuff. However, after living there, I can tell you a lot of them have mental health issues. Oh yeah. I know because I realized that this one. It. I recognized it, <laughs> and I realized that I didn't have to argue with those people for them to argue with me. And, it, and you know, be it drugs or whatever, but most of the people are taking drugs to cope with it. And, and I think, you know, this, this whole idea that we just fucking brush it under the carpet, you know, and just, like, make it somebody else's problem is, is you know, is, is not on. I personally don't want to do anything to help the situation, but I think somebody should. <laughs> Thanks for being honest. Oh, that's it. I'm a true Republican, I am. <laughs> Jeez. I think we should ship them all to Colombia. God, you watch way too much TV. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. Yeah. So you're saying about famous people? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, oh, who's the hot blonde? Well, she's not hot, but she's kind of. There's something about uh, Kristen Bell. Kristen she's Bell. bipolar, mm-hmm. uh, which is weird when you you know like see her. She never comes over like that, but she obviously stays out of right. the public eye. I don't know why I think she's hot because she's, she's hot. not. She's hot. Oh, I don't know. So. Uh, we just finished it last night, Marcus. We finished Narcos last night. Yeah. So, absolutely brilliant. Mm-hmm. Well, not obviously if you're Pablo Escobar. Obviously, not such a win on the finish. But uh, but there we go. Yeah, you know, Savage says, you know, that's why it's so hard for, you know, people who are outside the norm of society to, like, mm-hmm. actually recognize this. You know, to, like... You, you know, but... You, because you do. You you put on a face. Uh-huh. You put on a different front. People yeah. on here would not have known unless you told them. Mm-hmm. They would have thought you were fucking nuts most of the time. But, mm-hmm. you know, that's a different kind of thing. So, right. you know... It's... It, it's... You know, yeah, it, it's... The, the struggles we go through. But that's the thing. It's like, if you do have it... It's like, you know, don't play the victim on it. That's the key. You know, the thing I take away from all of this, you can either let it beat you and be this, like, um, uh, uh, I, I can't think of the right, right word to use, uh, you know, defeatist attitude, or you can fight it. Or you can get medicine and not fight it at all and just cure itself. But I like fighting it. I, you see, I like the challenge. It's like when somebody years and years ago went, you are not going to lose weight unless you exercise. That was the worst thing they could have said to me. Because for the last five years, that has been my absolute fucking mantra mantra to go, I am going to lose weight without fucking exercising. And I did it. I just, 
I'm now stuck, so now I'm having to exercise. But I at least did it. So if I just tell you the opposite of what you think... No, because I know what you're up to. I'm smart. (laughs) I'm bipolar smart. Okay. There's two brains in operation here. I think somebody just called you challenged, which is ironic because that was actually a word that I used to describe you a long time ago. Yeah. Before I even knew any of all this. I was challenging. Oh, challenged. I was challenged. Just challenged. Yeah. Just challenged, not challenging. Not like, you know, struggle for me. Just, you're challenged. <laughs> see, this is what... Oh, fuck. Hang on. Sorry, boys. Um, <laughs> see, this is why I, I don't like... Um, see, I don't really like drinking that much. Because, again... See, for me, it's all about control. Uh, yeah, but I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> with, with what you do when you're drinking? Yeah, that's I possible. I, I mean, heart attacks are... Yes, he really is bipolar, Trisha. Yeah, like, yeah. Legitimately yeah, I'm, doctor approved. I'm not taking the piss out of the rest of you with it just for fun and giggle. I am. But I'm not. But I can. You know, it's it's like because I'm... <laughs> it's because, that's what he said. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> I can. I can. Uh, you know, it, so it is. It's, you know, it's, it's a pain in the ass. And I know it's difficult for you. And I know really probably I should get medicine. But I'm not going to be me. If I take that, it is not going to be me anymore. You're not you anymore. I am me. This is me. This is how me has been since I didn't marry this. I was twelve. Me. (laughs) Right. This is a different version of you than Mm. I know, which I think is the hardest part because it's like you know I'll sit there and you know be like, wow, I remember how you used to be when Mm -hmm. you didn't have this very often because you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I looking back at it now, you know, I can see over all the years we've been married, I can Mm -hmm. see where just what happened just a little bit. Right. And and that would be it for like a whole year. I mean, just like a little bit here. And now it's just, Mm. you know, I I have your pattern fucking down pat now with what you do with it. Yeah. And, you know, and, you know, so to me, I sit there going, oh God, I wish you were like that again. But you see. And, And that's frustrating because I'm like, I can keep wishing that all I want. Right. But it's not going to happen. Even if you want my right. medication, then right. I get that. I'm aware of that. It's not going to. It's not going to make you go back like you used to be. Right. So. But you see, for I, me, you see, me talking hard. about mm-hmm. that for me, it, you see, then it becomes a challenge because you're turning around to me and going, "Oh, you can't be like how you used to be." So me, with my mind, fighty Steve is like, "Fuck it, I'm going to prove you wrong. I can be like how I, you know." Cool. And so you know, it, it's, it's like not helping, but cool. It's, it's that, you know. No, I'm so, not going to leave him, Joe. <laughs> oh, fuck no. No. She couldn't leave me. Just she has an ankle bracelet me. on. <laughs> she goes more than 100 feet and it buzzes and drops her to the floor. Like, yeah, hey, you trying to escape again? Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Night Smoker. What's that? He said he supports Steve and he supports Jane and takes a real woman to like <laughs> deal with like a free man. Oh, I can, <laughs> seriously, I couldn't. I, I, there is no way I could live with most of you bitches out there. In fact, I know that. I, you're all too fucking psycho for my liking. I Jane's my ext- Yeah, Jane's extremely balanced. I'm normal. She is. No, but you're not normal like in a chick normal. I'm not, you're I'm like, not a normal girl. No. You're kind of... No, I hate women you're, you're they're cunts. You're, you're, you're kind of like... Well, you're kind of like a guy. So apparently I like being married to a guy. You look like a woman, but no, but I mean, the way you, you know, the way you deal yeah. with things, you're kind of more of a guy I'm the way you deal things. You're not a drama I mean, queen. Drama queen, no. You know, that's you don't have job. these, like, crises in your life. No, that's your job. That's my job. <laughs> okay, so you're gay and I'm, I'm a lesbian. Okay, uh, got it. <laughs> I'm a lesbian as well. Well, not if I'm more like a guy. <laughs> Maybe I just like butch lesbians. I am not a butch lesbian, like, in, on any stretch of the imagination. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Hang on. No, that's wrong. <laughs> right. Oh, we shit. know what he means, but sh- let's just make it difficult <laughs> for him. Yeah. Make me squirm. <laughs> uh, so yeah. you like men. That's where you came up with it. No. And I like gay guys that can shop for me. Because I don't like doing that. I know. I'm fucking okay. awesome at that. Okay. See, so we play well off each oh, other. Oh, Joe says his wife is like a guy too. That's why they've mm. been together for 17 years. Oh, there you go. So he's gay too. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. We just call you gay for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> but it's an endearing term. It's not a homophobic yeah, term. It's gay. We're not saying, ooh, he's gay. We're going, hey, he's gay. Yes, I deal with problems in the way a typical girl would not. That's exactly yes. I am yes, not a does. girl. Girls fucking piss me off because... <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, she's a girl hater. I am. I can't stand women. I mean, and it's so funny. I love hanging out with girls, 
because of the drama and stuff. It's because fucking hilarious. I know. So, but it's like if I was on drama, you would fucking hate me. I would. You're married to I would. Yeah. I know. No, God, I fucking hate drama. Oh. No, I'd rather hang out with guys. Well, it wouldn't work any anyway, rate because it's like you know, if you were like, you were like, you know, you went off at me and you were just like, oh no, it doesn't matter, just forget it. I would just burst out laughing. <laughs> See, and that's but the I problem. Don't do that. I know you don't, but that's no. what would happen. The moment somebody tries to give me an attitude, I laugh. I know. It's just this default setting. Yes, so women are very dramatic. So yes. you know, and yes. there's no need for them to be. No, no need no. for them at all. It's just bullshit that they went. Oh, and then like you know, I have like the month before my period, I'm gonna be grouchy, and then when I'm on my period, I'm gonna be grouchy. Oh, and then the week after, when my hormones are still fucking messed up. So like a, a, a week out of the month, you might be able to approach them if they're having a good day. Uh-huh. What the fuck ever? I mean, it's just it's just the most fucking stupid thing ever. Yes, social engineering. It's exactly what it mm-hmm. is. It's fucking bullshit. Women don't be cunts. The end. Wow, this is cool because I thought it was all going to be like fucking hating on me, but you're just you keep talking because everything's going to land at your door. I'm done with I'm my good. gene rant. Are you? Oh, I think sh- I got really excited about it. Shit. <laughs> it is that problem. Yeah, tomorrow we'll talk about feminism. Oh, so you work with Steve then, Frosty? I didn't know that. Hi, uh... He said the guy that he works with is way more dramatic than his wife. So. <laughs> I'm not dramatic. Oh, yeah. You are way more dramatic than dramatic. I am. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I do it for dramatic effect. There's a difference. No, yeah. No. Yeah. Nobody's entertained. I'm certainly not. Oh, you are. You I laugh. Know. You find it funny when I behave There's like that. There's a level of when I'm done laughing. I know, and <laughs> that's when I stop. On. Well, I can't just stop because then it would look weird. You know, it's like midway through telling a joke. You can't just quit. Once you've committed to it, you gotta you gotta see it through. I just can't always. So there we go. Yes, I question humanity as well, Jay. We all need to be stop. Just you know, I think so, I think if more people in the world stopped playing a fucking victim and mm-hmm. trying to make life all about them, we'd be fine. Kinko's comment to Savage Jay was, "People are stupid." Yeah, <laughs> that that's the layman way of explaining it because it really is. It's it's people are just stupid most of the time. But, yeah, basically. but we allow it as a society, right? You know, we enable it. Mm-hmm. You know why the why the fuck is anybody fucking a Seriously, who's really offended because some fucking football player didn't stand for the national anthem? You fucking idiot. I'm if actually you... behind him on that one, and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. Oh, I think it's stupid. I don't stand well, I for your anthem at all. Anyway. No. I'm just... You don't normally know what's going on. I have no idea what's going <laughs> you're on. you're like, is this the part where we go, stars? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was embarrassing. <laughs> that was the 4th of July. I won't forget in a hurry. Um, uh... Yeah. So that was awesome. I suddenly <laughs> liked your anthem when I went to a Stars game. I was like, this is fucking cool. So, but yeah, I mean, you know, does anybody really, I mean, do you, you know, is, is that really, really <laughs> kind of, right with it. yeah, you know, and, and it's, it's just those kind of weird, what, what is, yeah, Paul's like, stand, don't stand, stand on your head. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. If you want you to know, shout stars and be British in America while singing the national anthem, then, you know, go fucking right ahead. I did, you know, standing for a land because they're like, oh, you're it's disrespecting everything else. You fucking morons. No, it's not. It's disrespecting it because you say it is. It's so stupid. And it's like, you know, Frosty was just saying, you know, you know, it's kind of stupid because, you know, it's you're in America. It's freedom. You have the freedom to not stand. It, no, but... Th- Yet people like go, oh my God, you're supposed to stand. Well, I choose not to. Right. Because I can. Right. Because then, I am American. I know, but the argument back is, well, you know, because our troops go and fight for your freedom to do that, you're disrespecting them. I'm like... Right. If honest to God, if if and I and I'm being honest to anybody in the armed forces, if you get offended by somebody not standing to an American flag which has stood for a hell of a lot more than fucking just freedom, it stood for fucking invading countries that they fucking shouldn't be there, it's for going after all this yep. bullshit, then you need to fucking check yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I will support fucking people in the military all day long. But if you turn around and go, oh, well, you should do that because that's showing respect. No, fuck you. I don't need to show that respect at all. Uh, last time last time I checked, in this country, yep. there's not conscription. Somebody said it's their freedom to disrespect them as well. 
Not that I think that's not disrespecting. It's I not disrespecting. Disrespect. That's my problem and with I, all of this. Yeah, I don't it's think it's It's not disrespect. disrespecting. It's going, hey, country, y'all are fucking retards in what you're doing, and I don't agree with what you guys do. You mm-hmm. know? Get your act together, and then I'll it's, be happy to it's be an not, American. It's not disrespecting. Mm-hmm. No, nobody should be happy to be fucking American. We're, we're fucking human. We're human species. We're one people. Mm-hmm. The only reason, this is why I laugh so much when I see people getting so het up over patriotic bullshit. Those are just controls put in place by government to keep you in line. Mm -hmm. You're a fucking sheep. Any person that thinks that national pride and patriotism Mm -hmm. is anything other than what it actually is, Mm -hmm. a control mechanism for the masses, you are sheep. Ginko says, mm, sheep, but yeah. No, mm-hmm. everybody's like, yeah, they agree with you. Yeah, it's, it's exactly it, you know. See, and this is why I know the media is just full of bullshit because whenever we do these things on we the are show. Being media people right now. No, but whenever we do these things on the show, people, mm-hmm. people go, no, you're actually right. I agree with that, you know? And so it comes back down to this thing that it, there is a small vocal minority mm-hmm. in this country that want to wear fucking. Uh, you know, Star Spangled Bannered fucking suits and ties and stand up at the national anthem because what? They're like religious people. They think by praying they're going to somehow fucking solve a problem in the world. Oh, stand into a national anthem. How have you helped fucking one soldier? How have you helped one fucking soldier who's come back with his legs blown off? What, you stand in for an anthem is going to help him? No, it doesn't. Go, go dig in your fucking pockets. And when those people are stood on the side of the road going, I'm an ex-vet, please help, fucking give them a thousand bucks, then you can fucking criticise somebody for not standing to a national anthem. But until that time, shut the fuck up and stick another fucking barbecue rib in your fucking ass. (laughs) There you go. And he's in a good mood today. I am. (laughs) I love this show. I get such therapy from it. (laughs) People are like, barbecue rib? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm hungry. You just ate. I, I just know. Made I think you I've like got... an amazing breakfast, I and I was not actually. I whisked it. You whisked AIDS together. AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> I whisked AIDS, and gonorrhea, AIDS. and a bit of crab. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. AIDS. STD surprise. I made you breakfast. Yeah. I made. I made all the rest of it. You well, whisked I put it in the, the bowl, eggs. and I put it. I whisked the the, <laughs> the cheese the with eggs it. Eggs with a knife. He's so like <laughs> British. You call me. She's laughing. I'm I'm cracking eggs with a knife and with a sharp knife, not a not like a cutlery knife, a sharp knife. And and she's laughing. I'm like, what? And she's like, nothing. I was like, no. What are you doing? Eggs normally. No, but if you cut it with a knife, it's nice and clean. And you. Oh my god. She, she just turned around and went, oh my god, you're so British sometimes. Such racism. It took him as long to crack 12 eggs with his knife as it did for me to cook 12 pieces of bacon and chop up green onion. Uh, You know. Are you reading? Do you need me to read really Uh, fast? Yeah, yeah, I can't read that. That's too many words. Uh, Ginkgo says Scottish people know breakfast. Oh, no. No, No, because you're on about haggis or something. Oh, the Black pudding. Oh. Yeah, Marcus, I, I I understand what you're saying, and I don't exactly agree with you. He said the biggest problem with the whole, like, not standing for the national anthem, especially for, like, you know, is it Kaepernick? I think his name Whatever. is Colin Kaepernick. Um, you know, they think that they're making a difference by not standing for the anthem, and they're actually not. He said you're a professional athlete, athlete that makes millions of dollars. If you want to make a difference, there are better ways to do it. Yes, and who didn't say he doesn't do other things to make a difference? That's who he does more than you to help. And, 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 and you know and I think I think it doesn't make a difference I don't even care if they're making a buck or they're making millions if it, you're, it's your choice I just to, why is why does do anybody it? care whether he stands or not for an anthem the anthem's a fucking control mechanism you identify as American you know what that happens it keeps you in this fucking country it yep. keeps you controlled yep. and as people that are actually looking to world travel I can tell you 100% you are under a lot more fucking monitoring and yeah. government control than you fucking realize it is unbelievable yeah savage day says it feels like more like a cheering thing like you know like yeah america yeah That's it's idea. just and it, yeah. And it really is you know mark says he doesn't really care if he stands or not i think he was just trying to make that you know opinion mm-hmm. that you know people and you know and frosty said earlier he was just like you know the fact is, is that he chose to do that knowing that there is probably gonna be a backlash so I he's think... actually pretty brave in what he did on the fact that He's just getting shit for it, big time. Some, somebody said something. Somebody in England said yes, to me yeah. when I was talking. I'd been over here for a couple of years, and I was talking to a friend, and he was like, "Well, the problem with America, mm-hmm. 
And I was like, oh, I'm going to use this one. He just left it at that. <laughs> and he was like, they're young. It's still a young country. He said that all this patriotism and all of that, because it was like 0304 after 9 11, mm -hmm. you guys went fucking apeshit on patriotism, yeah, it's right? Like flags fucking yeah. everywhere. And, and he was like, you know, he said, if you kind of look at Britain and what happened with Britain, we went through the same thing. And now in Britain, nobody stands for the anthem. Nobody gives a flying fuck. It doesn't get played at games. Nobody cares. You guys are starting to enter that phase where nationalism is actually going to start to die. And you need it to die. You actually need that to die because you will always be in this like completely pent up with rage, weird situation as long as you allow nationalism to actually consume you. Kinko says, but UK is Big Brother Central. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a talk. Yeah. They have fucking... I, no, no, no. I, I What I was saying was, like, Britain is... Okay, yes. Britain openly turns around and goes, yes, we video you. They openly say, yes, we read all your emails. They are completely... You have no privacy. You haven't had it in the US either. They just lied their fucking asses off to you for years. I remember people saying, I, I remember having a discussion with a, um, uh, with a tech guy maybe, I don't know, eight, nine years ago. And he was like, there is absolutely no way that the government can listen into phone calls. And I was like, are you kidding me? This is the easiest thing to do. Oh, yeah, on the GSM network it is. But I mean, the, you know, if it's got, you know, Verizon, no, you can't do that. I'm like, really? You don't think putting up a fake tower you would be able to just, I mean, I understood how spoofing worked back then. So, I, you know, I, I'm just... It's Britain did away with nationalism and nationalism has come back in Britain in the form of racism. And I think that's the problem you guys over here need to watch out for. Mm. Yeah. Uh, now we, uh, Paul said, you know, he goes, well, I'm Canadian. And we're not, we don't have like all that pent up anger and stuff. He goes, mm -hmm. we're kind of like the docile little brother yeah. in Canada. They're like, they don't have those problems, but they're still a young country as well. Right. But yeah, but there's a difference mm -hmm. with, there's a difference with, the control that America... See, I'm trying not to sound like Alex Jones, but the control America has exerted on its citizens is far more than what happens in Canada. In Canada, you have a lot less freedoms in certain areas, but you also have a lot more freedoms in other areas. Um, Marcus was curious if um, anthems are played before sporting events. Not in the UK. I've never heard that. I've been to sporting events in the UK. I was absolutely gobsmacked. I had no idea. When I first came over here and I went to a fucking... It was like a little kid's baseball game. And I went with some friends. And you all fucking stood for a national anthem. I was like, what? And then I see you guys... Now, you've got to remember, I'm British. I see you guys put your hand on the heart. Mm -hmm. I only know of two empires that did that. Mm -hmm. The Romans and the Nazis. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> So, so yeah. So I don't know if it happens in you know other countries. I don't think it does. Um, I, they do in Italy and they do in Germany. Ger really? Oh well, Germany. Yes. Okay. Because your anthem is very much. It's like God Save the Queen. It's like the same um, mm -hmm. sound. Oh, is it? Yeah, different words, but same. Oh, really? Same. Yeah. Wow, my brain's not working. <laughs> yes, I so, do need a nap, Kinko. Mm -hmm. I don't feel good. No, definitely, definitely sick today. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, I just you know, I mm -hmm. you know, I don't know how we got into the they subject said of to run, Don't let the Nazis get to you. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind. Death's on her way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marching fast, aff. That's. Oh, don't even say that. Don't even say that. So, but yeah, yeah. No, Steve's bipolar, but Polonist does not keep me awake. I'm just, I'm sick. So, mm. yeah, no, I no, you can just you can go to sleep or do whatever the fuck he wants. Have his weird dreams. I'm just going to sleep. See, I, I I'll have to see how today goes, but I feel like I actually feel like I'm starting to come out of it a bit this time. But we'll see. Don't be dismissive. I've I'm seen that look being before. Dismissive. I just know your pattern. Oh, so you you see, are. that drives me fucking nuts. <laughs> that does. Sorry, but you just you know, go, you just it. give up, Steve, because I know, I, I, I know what happens. Just give up. I know what you're going to, in three minutes time, you're going to be thirsty and want to drink. Look, and I'm just like, God, I'm really thirsty now. Well, I'm thirsty now because I'm talking about it and I've run out of water. I have water. I don't want that. I'm not being dismissive. I'm actually being helpful. See? You might be poisoning me. This one is from yesterday before I felt sick. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Stagnant water. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Kink. I should stab him with a medical needle. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
Um, Domestic Unicorn says she's been in an episode for a week. She says she just says you know, this is temporary. Yeah. I, I it, now it was funny because you you told me um, you told me about that girl who has seizures. And yeah, she, I, she has a and weird... who who just said that? Uh, unicorn. Something unicorn. Okay, listen Something to this. This is really girl. cool because I'm very close to getting this on and my yeah, arm. She has like seizures and stuff, and 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 the way she does it, like her arm always goes across, like her left arm always goes across, like her face, and it kind of gets locked mm-hmm. in that position. So what she did is she got tattooed on like her forearm. Um, what was it? What was it exactly? You know, um, this, this will, will be all over. This will be over in, in a few. Like, soon. This will all be over soon. Uh-huh. And just to remind her, because, like, her hand, like, stays locked in front of her face, mm-hmm. like, the whole time of that. Mm-hmm. And she she said it's not, like, a totally painful one, but she can't actually move. And so she got that tattooed on her arm just to keep reminding her to keep breathing because it's, it's almost done. It's almost done. It will be done soon. And I was like, that's really fucking good. And I know hers is extreme, but I'm like, isn't that a f- really good idea? Because uh, uh, Unicorn Fart, whoever you were. Um, <laughs> Domestic Unicorn. Right, that one. Oh, she says she loves that. Yeah, yeah isn't it a good idea? Yes, now, now brilliant. I'll tell you what I did. I actually installed an app on my phone mm-hmm. that actually every hour sends me a message. Mm-hmm. And that actually does help. That it's like happy messages. Yeah, it does. It, it, it's just, you know, it, I'll send a message and you can customize it. So mine says, do one thing to move forward right now. Mm-hmm. You know, do one thing that's going to change right now. Go on. They and the just said, starts. LOL, unicorn fart. fart. I know. <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to tag you that way. But, you know, no, I do no, that. No, somebody and... else you're laughing at that, not her. She's oh, okay. just carrying on going, okay, whatever. She's having <laughs> so... a bad week and you called her a unicorn fart, okay? I mean... I know, but clearly the girl's not a victim. Oh, but she said she's about to change her name, so... <laughs> <laughs> Your real name is unicorn? No, That's awesome. No, no, no. Like, I think maybe on there or something. Oh, okay, no, okay, okay. Change it to unicorn fart. <laughs> Go on. Jesus. Go on. Uh... You know you want to. Mm-mm. Um, so so yeah I mean you know so for me it's like I have that little thing that, that pops up on my phone that sends me messages to do that mm-hmm. and and when I'm str- especially when everything's dogpiling on me like when all the problems are starting to come in that I can read that and it's weird because I know it's there but I happen mm-hmm. to accidentally see it when I open my phone and all of a sudden it's kind of a oh yeah fuck it I'm going to do something right now to move forward and it's amazing doing something accomplishing something yeah, simple being positive is pretty cool makes a really big fuck you <laughs> <laughs> makes you know that makes a huge difference that actually you know it doesn't last for me it doesn't last very long but it mm-hmm. but it at least breaks that cycle that spiral and i think that's maybe why i haven't gone down as bad as i have this time or for the last couple months <laughs> he goes says your phone reads just smile at walmart people <laughs> that's it <laughs> Do not yeah. engage the, the mm. you know, the fat person at Walmart trying to buy Coke, Stephen. Yep. I tell you what, though, <laughs> I would do it all over again. Yes, I like that one, Ginko. What's that? Buy Jane flowers. It should be on your phone. Okay. I'll make you smile, right? Really, no, you want I me should... to buy your flowers? No, she doesn't like flowers. flowers. I actually don't like flowers. See how cool of a girl I am? I know, she's awesome. <laughs> I look awesome. She doesn't she like flowers. flowers. She doesn't like they're chocolates. Gonna, they're, they're dead. They're going to die in a few days. I'm going to have to clean it up and it's going to smell weird. <laughs> I don't want dead flowers. But yes, thanks. boys, I did marry the perfect woman, <laughs> just so we're very clear on that one. Everything might be chocolate, you usually like eat, eat most it. of it because I don't like any of those flavors anyway. So I know. I just I just yeah. buy the type I like. Yeah. <laughs> That's a typical girl actually, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so so <laughs> So yes, yes, that's that's that. So um, why get a quarter sleeve one, Magnum, and you can get a whole sleeve? He's think- so he's thinking about getting a quarter sleeve tattoo. Oh, I'm actually genuinely serious about having writing put on there. <laughs> You're such a girl. I know, right? <laughs> you want flowers on either side of it too? Huh? No, I want it toughen the fuck up. Toughen the fuck up. Uh huh. See? Uh, yes, yeah, Steve is the girl. Chopper Reed. For everybody out there. Uh, Ginka says, if I fold like a beach chair, you're a perfection. Yeah, she does. I can do that. <laughs> she <does>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yoga. Yeah. <laughs> I do some kinds of yoga just to see if I can get in a certain position during sex. That's what I... I mean, that's like... I have little goals. I'm like... <laughs> so, so, yes. I, I'm... Yeah. I know. So and you put up with me, so you're I, all right. I know. That's so why I'm like a fucking saint. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Um, so what kind of tattoo are you getting, Magnum? Mm-hmm. Oh, you get yours Thank Wednesday. You. I get, <gasps> I get my you sleeve. You get your whole sleeve Wednesday. Wednesday. She get a... Yeah. Ah. 
Yeah. My other leg doesn't hurt. My morticia What one time have you got to be there? 11. Okay. From 11 to 6. All right. Yeah. 6. Oh, I ain't stayed there that long. Well, I didn't think you were staying there. Okay, I'll come back no. and do the show. No, then. I'd be like 11, 6, 11, 7. You know, yeah. I'm thinking it's going to be about 8 hours, to be honest. So. Because I forgot to do the show last week. Mm-hmm. My evening show. I'm sorry, Dave. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll be home by then. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you're going to so feel like doing that. I'll We're doing fine. ghosts. fine. I'll be fine. My arm will have, like, awesome color on it. Yeah, this is mm-hmm. true. Yes, I'm very excited. I know he must take a lion face with design around it. Or like Simba. Maybe not like Simba. See, you're singing again. Like it really, it's really uncomfortable. Really? That's singing? Oh, Marcus says his daughter still has four hours left on her tattoo. Ouch. It looks cool. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, Jay wants to know, are you bipolar during sex? Um, I've had sex while I'm being bipolar. Yes. Yeah, it's weird. It's there's a there's a there's a lot of um, <laughs> you know they say oh like sex drive can change and this that, and that. It's really difficult when you have kids. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? It's so it's so, difficult. Well, because like you know it's like you know the I was uh, the, you know, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> God, I'm depressed now. Jeez. <sighs> is unicorn? Cake baker still um, there? Yes. Is she? Oh, okay. No, I, well, I don't. I don't know. Okay. Oh, if you asked it, it, well, she said she'd been. She's there. Oh, okay. So, um, she's been in an episode for a week. How long do yours normally last? I'm, I'm interested with that. How long do mine last? I have no idea because I'm crazy. Um, about two and a half weeks. Really bad. Really? You have a week leading up to it. Mm-hmm. Like what you just went, and then you get better for a few days. Okay. That would apply. Right oh, now. fuck you. Fuck and you for working. I like hate her. She's so analytical. Like really she can't shit. add up for yeah, shit. She said usually a, shut up. But you're analytical to fuck you are. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Said usually a week to a month. And oh, you're, is that, it? you're like a three and a half to four week. How bad do you go? Do you, do you get. Do, do you actually. Sorry, I know we're talking on an open forum here. But I mean, it's like. How bad do you go? Do, do you have. Fire. I think that's the least of her words. Really? Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask if she ever feels like blowing her head off. <laughs> She might not want to answer that one. Well, I'll, somebody I'll, else said they. Yeah, I, yes. yeah. Okay, yeah. And <laughs> see, and and it's uh, the most frustrating she part. Don't get like that. No, I you keep telling me you don't like that. Yeah, I don't like to worry you. So when you but, say that, you're uh, actually telling me because you keep saying I don't feel like I'm not. I don't worry. I'm not going to like kill myself. Well, not right then and there. Right. But ten minutes earlier, yeah. Uh, yeah, a unicorn says uh, the important things that you don't act on. Yeah, the key is don't have guns in your house. I think that's probably a good thing. Gotcha. Because I thought about it. I, I thought about this. I was like, because I, no, I did say to you, like when I was as a teenager, if I had lived over here as a teenager, I'd probably be dead. Because you probably would listen to Kurt Cobain. I, he's fucking oh awesome. fuck no, that's a fucking awesome, <laughs> terrible, terrible group. God no, I killed myself. It was so fucking bad music. <laughs> I'd re- write him a letter, dear Kurt. If I killed myself, would you promise to stop making music? <laughs> Maybe that's what I did. Oh. And he misread it. Oh. Can you kill yourself and stop making music? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm an NLP practitioner. Oh, are you? Uh-huh. Yeah, wow. I'm very clever with things like delusional. that. Delusional. Completely uh-huh. delusional. I'm not delusional. I'm She's fantastic, laughing. darling. She's laughing. <laughs> She's laughing. Do you understand? See, this is she... why you come to this show. We can talk about suicide and have a good laugh. <laughs> See, and that's what it's about. I oh, remember that time. Oh my god, yeah. But you always tell me you're not in that. You're not gonna do that. No, I get. I I'll get. So like, now you get like that now. So now I need to watch for that. No, 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 no. Because it's like a few seconds. And honest to God, I don't have the energy to go upstairs and find the gun. It's it. It's like a few seconds. So, you know, I just. I'd it's prefer we get rid of them. Right, Jay said he's been in my position before. Yeah, it's, it's hard dealing with somebody like hard. that. I can imagine. Yeah. You know, especially. See, I've, I, 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 you know, to be totally honest, I've actually looked for like places to like get ideas on how to deal with you better. You know, I thought you said you, you've actually looked for places to move out. I was like, hang on a minute, <laughs> is that where we're going so, on no, this show? No, no, more okay. of like support ideas on like how to like right. deal with you, right? With it, and you know, I I do all the stuff you're not supposed to. I mean, like the other night, I fucking mm-hmm. went fine. I don't even fucking care. Don't act like that. And I went in the house and I slammed the door. Yeah. <laughs> You're not supposed to yell at people with bipolar, but you would sometimes have been sorry if I, I don't, blow my see, head off. Then I'm I'm still with my phone. 
Oh, see, she bought her husband a book on it for her wedding for their wedding present. Jeez, oh, wow, fucking um, hell! Y'all still got married? Wow. Wow, um, wow you kidding. must be really good in the sack. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, Although they do say crazy in the head, crazy in bed. I know. <laughs> I'm, practic- I'm I'm crazy from a British side of things, so right. I have to app, up, up uh, that a lot. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, you said crazy women are always good in bed. Yeah. I know, it works with women. It doesn't work with guys. We're just lazy. So could two people be bipolar and be married together? Fuck, that'd be awesome. Good <laughs> God alive. It would be bad because it would be really difficult when you're both like... Like it's yeah, like if you I'm never not both be at good at the same time or bad. No, at because it's like be if I was like really down and you were really down at the same time and we were just like uh, no, I think I would be a very just ready to get the gun faster than you just to blow your own head off. <laughs> It'd be like you don't need to shoot yourself. I'm going to get the gun and do it for you, you <laughs> motherfucker. So yeah, you know, see, that it's... would be hard. But no, I mean I've looked up stuff like what you're supposed to say, how you're supposed to deal with it, how do you deal with it? Really, it doesn't show. <laughs> <laughs> You admitted that you don't I'm do anything. I'm going to upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I what? You admitted that you don't do what they tell you to do. No, I don't. I find it. It doesn't. <laughs> Here we work go. For you. It doesn't work for me. You know, no, that's because I'm aware to... of what's going on. No. Yeah. No, at that point you're usually not. Okay. Um, I will use their their like advice. When this is going to be a really good towards one towards the end of your like two and a half bad weeks. Okay, all right. When I know you're coming back down to earth, all right. That's when I'm like, okay, now I'll be compassionate. <laughs> do you know what we should do? I try to just ignore you. Uh, right. That's what I do. I try to ignore you because I can't let it affect me because it it brings me down, and then yeah. I can't deal with the kids and I can't deal with with my work right. and I can't deal with making sure everything else is going on because Jesus, it bothers. Make it all about you. It is. It's, you know what it, we should do? It is. We should get magnetic. Much. We should get magnetic circles for the wall. Right. Right. And, and me and you, right? Uh-huh. And you always put where you think I am, right? <laughs> and I'll put where I think I am, and we'll have a laugh about it. So is this guy all the way down to the basement? No, I'm just doing red, <laughs> green, or yellow. Red, or red green, or yellow. Red, amber, green. Red, amber, green. Yeah, like traffic lights. Oh, so like say like. Green, you're good. Yeah. Yellow, yeah. You're in, okay. You're, right you're now, sliding red. You're, you're almost. You're like a good orange. <laughs> I'm either yellow or red. You're not you're, getting in between. You're, you're yellow. I'm still yellow. You're yellow. I'm yellow. You're yellow. Yeah, like a terror threat level. Yes. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You two we, should, we should have Seriously. that. We should have that on a thing. Yeah. The two bipolar people are <laughs> saying we need to color code this shit. On the terror threat level, we could have it right there. That's fucking awesome. Can you buy those? Give me a minute. Okay. <laughs> Forget our countdown days. No, don't do that because the kids are gonna see that I and they're gonna. It. Really? Of course they will. Oh, great. That's what I want is to be judged by everybody. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, I can't believe you are actually right in that. Terror. Countdown. Countdown? Well, ter- oh, ter- do you, wait, countdown? Or like Not a countdown. Level? It's got to be a threat level. Okay. Ter- God damn it. I can- okay. Wow. I'm, I'm doing I, it. I just, well, just, you can't fucking add up, so, you know. Wow, really? Wow. Really yeah. About that? Yeah. Terror threat level. We can't have that in our office. That's so bad. Well, we have to use orange for yellow. We, we need to... Is anybody... Uh, Marcus, you'll know this. How, what are the threat levels? How does it work? Is it like orange, <laughs> elevated? Oh, yeah, it's like Marcus elevated. Knows. Well, Marcus knows everything. Okay. He's so like... Where do you think you're at today? Uh, I don't orange know what the levels yellow. are. I don't know what the levels are. Hold on. What are the levels? Uh... Uh, uh, <laughs> I just saw your GIF, Marcus, which is very funny. Okay. Um, hang so, on. Terror, okay, so here we go. See? Levels. They're terror, terror threat. Oh, here we go. We got, here we go. I got it. It's, uh. Well, what? I'm going to say you're a good orange. I'm a good con- yellow. It's, okay, so it's severe, high, elevated, guarded, and low. So oh. low risk of terror attacks. Okay. I Guarded. I would say. I would say right now. I'm guarded. Oh. I'm there. It's elevated. It's the next one up. I don't have yellow. 
I don't have yellow, so I can't actually fix that for you. You got blue? Well, oh, well we can. Yellow a different color. Okay. Well, I could just print these out. Oh Jesus! This is such a fucked up. Steve thinks he's blue. I think I'm blue. I'm guarded. General yeah. risk of terrorist I can't attacks. Draw with my left hand. Can <laughs> so, you tell? so, so general risk. General risk of bipolar episodes. There we go. I'm. I'm a. I'm. I'm. Terror level blue. Needs to be like take cover. So okay. We'll, we'll make the yellow one. We'll have to put the one. key down the yeah, side. I'll, I'll do the key and later. do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it totally works. All right. Um, oh my god. Let's see, I got all my. I got more oh, there's there's a better there. there's a better okay. one. No, I'm there's not what the fuck? Oh my god! By the way, lol and z's. With my. Okay, so the purple is the purple is <laughs> you could you could have what the fuck oh my god by the way lol and z's <laughs> that would okay. be much better so really we're on what the fuck level is is purple i can't write left handed i'm gonna have to do this afterwards okay we'll do this really afterwards. Awesome afterwards and um yeah oh, jesus are we really yeah really that's a really good idea i like that tarot threat levels <laughs> yeah you're a solid um please put the cat back on that i don't have it <laughs> there so it is like your ICs. Jesus, I'm never going to explain this if Homeland Security turn up here. Okay, I mean, I don't think that's your problem if Homeland Security shows up here. <laughs> Maybe. Just saying. I want the what the fuck one. That's just really funny. I need to get these printed out. That would just be funnier. <sighs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, this is gone. I... I Marcus thinks DEFCON 1 is the biggest threat. Is that what it is, DEFCON 1? Well, DEFCON is... is Oh, they don't use DEFCON it's for the, terrorism. We're just doing terrorism threat levels. Yeah, DEFCON more terrorism. War Games. DEFCON yeah, 1 is, is World War 3. This is, this is more... DEFCON 5 is peace. Okay. DEFCON yeah. 4 is yeah, elevated. Yeah, DEFCON is a Cold War term. Yeah. See, that was Defense from condition. Yeah. See? I, yeah. War games. Yeah, yeah, this, is, total, this is more terrorism. Yeah, yeah. we got to yeah, do the this blues. This is bipolar the... terrorism. Oh, Marcus said they got rid of them because nobody could remember them. Nobody cares. You know, it's like, you know, it's you, you see it at train stations. Terrorist threat level is elevated. It still doesn't mean you can get fucking anything on time. <laughs> I think people just adjust that just for excuses. I'm sorry that your meal took an hour. We have a heightened terrorist situation. What, really, have kitchen? you ever had that scenario before? Maybe. Do you know what time it is? Oh, fuck. It's really fucking Oh, shit, light. okay. Yeah. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining in. Yeah. And I know, Magnum's all... like, wait, are we getting an extra hour today? Yeah, fuck no. I know. Uh, uh, Mary says, I love the deep chats you have with each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Goodbye, unicorn. Make sure to follow me on here. You're fun. Fart, I need, beautiful I need, I need unicorn two, farts for I the need, rest of the day. I need two bipolar people on here. Yeah, you do. Mr. like arms like. <laughs> All right, everyone, have a wonderful Thanks, day. Um, we'll be back show. tomorrow. Yep, we'll be back tomorrow, guys. See ya. Right. Have a good day. Bye, Bye. Felicia.